Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's January the 13th and we got in the mother load of all the packages. Uh, well, we got one, two, three, four, five different packages from Ride Stuff. Uh, so this is going to be a kind of a long video. I'm going to show you guys everything that I picked up. Um, I believe most of this should be from the uh, New Year's. So I know that that first week after New Year's, uh, right stuff had a best of 2020 sale, so I picked up a few things from there, and there might also be some stuff um, backlogged from the holiday sale. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Let's check out what we got. All right, so digging into that first box, um, we got a lot of nice, good series here. Um, some of them are pretty random, the volumes, because for some reason, uh, during the best of 2020 sale, they didn't have all of one series on sale. They just had random volumes for each series. And I guess it just depended on which one sold the most. So the volumes that sold the best during 2020, uh, those are the ones that were part of the sale. Uh, so that's why I have random volumes. But the first one here is Grand Blue Dreaming. Um, so I believe this was the only volume they had on sale for Grand Blue Dreaming. So it was the only one that I picked up. But I had been waiting for this one to go on sale because everybody's raving about it. Everybody says that it's hilarious and uh, I had been wanting to pick it up. I was hoping I could pick up like at least a few volumes starting from volume one so I could get into it. Uh, but nope, they only had volume nine on sale. So this is the one that I'm starting with. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to wait for another sell uh, so I can pick up the rest of the series. But uh, nice cover here. I do enjoy this cover. And let's go ahead and take a look at the artwork. All right, so nothing too crazy. It's not the best art out there, but it is good. And it does look like something that I would enjoy reading. So yeah, this is Grand Blue Dreaming Volume 9. All right, the next random volume that we got here... Uh, this one is for Golden Kamui, and this is a series that I do own the first two seasons for in anime format. But I have heard a lot of great things about the manga, and the anime is one that I've been wanting to watch, and I do plan on watching um, pretty soon here in early 2021. Uh, so since I saw this one on sale, I figured I might as well pick up the manga as well. Uh, for this one, I might just end up picking up um, the volumes after the anime ends. Uh, so I need to figure out um, where the manga leaves off, where the anime ends. But yeah, for now, they had volume 16 on sale only for Golden Kamoi. So I picked this one up and this cover is pretty nice. Um, you guys know that I love my purple, purple covers and this one has little tones of purple there. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty nice. And let's take a look at the artwork. A lot of people always talk about um, how great the artwork is for this one. Um, and really for any seinen series, um, which is kind of for like older adults, um, I find that the, the, the artwork for these type of manga is usually pretty good. And yeah, as you guys can kind of see here, uh, it's really nice. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at a few pages here. You guys can get an idea of what the artwork looks like. And yeah, this one's Golden Kamui, volume 16. Uh, next up, and I believe this is my first works from Inio Asano, um, who is another great mangaka. And the one that I have here is volume eight for Dead Dead Demons, Dead 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 Destruction. Um, I've always liked this title whenever people um, pick it up on their hauls. I think it's a pretty funny title. And from what I've heard, it's really it sounds really interesting as well. Uh, it's about these kids where I guess the world gets invaded by aliens and they kind of figure out how to live in a life where there's aliens and I'm sure there's more stuff that goes on in this series but yeah just that alone intrigued me and it seems like it'll be something that I enjoy plus it's from another great mangaka so I'm sure this one's gonna be great and again let's just take a quick look at the artwork Oh, and I really like, I kind of actually really like it when they have a black um, background behind all of the panels. I think it actually gives it a nice little pop. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, but yeah, the artwork looks pretty good. Um, I'm guessing those are the aliens there. So I don't know if I'm just spoiling myself here. So I'm going to close it up and not look at any more el anything else because this is volume 8, which is pretty well into the series. 
on whenever I find these on sale, definitely gonna pick up the rest of this series. Next up, we have My Dress Up Darling. And this one, they did have the first two volumes um, available for sale. So I picked both of them up and I believe I even pre-ordered volume three because I think that one's, that one's coming out pretty soon here. Um, and this is a series that I've heard that a lot of people have been picking up and it, I believe it is an etchy series since um, it is wrapped here. So let's see the rating, yeah, it is mature. Um, but yeah, it seemed really, really cool. Um, it was, it's about this girl um, who loves to cosplay, but she's not really good at creating different outfits. Um, but there is this guy here, I'm assuming, that loves creating outfits or is really good at like creating different outfits for dolls. And he now has a human being that he can uh, dress up as he likes. But yeah, cosplay is something that um, has always intrigued me. I've never gotten into it myself, but even my wife, she's been saying that she's been wanting to cosplay um, as certain characters because she also loves anime. And yeah, since this one is about cosplay, I decided to pick it up and check it out. Um, I might do a first impressions on this one. I've seen a lot of people do first impressions. I've never done one yet, so um, I'm probably going to try and read these two volumes and give you guys my thoughts. Uh, probably also volume three since I should be getting that one pretty soon. Um, but yeah, this one is my dress up darling. Here's volume one and volume two. All right, next up, uh, they did have uh, Blood on the Tracks volume three on sale, on sale as well. This is from Shuzo Oshimi. Uh, I've been picking up a lot of titles from uh, this mangaka recently, and I did pick up the first two volumes during the holiday sale, and then this one went on sale that first week of January. Uh, so yeah, haven't gotten into this series, but from what I hear everybody say, um, it's really a great series, probably even one of his best. So yeah, I'm excited to check this one out. Uh, next up, we got another vampire series because I believe this one is um, somewhat about, about vampires. I know Happiness is, but I think I've heard that Blood on the Tracks um, is also about vampires. And yeah, I saw this one on sale. And this one's definitely about vampires. You can see them uh, biting into her neck here. So um, I looked at some reviews and it looked pretty good. So I decided to pick this one up as well. Um, I did pick up the first two volumes, so volume two should be in one of these other packages. But all right, I'm gonna try to speed it up a little bit more because we have a lot of boxes to go through and I think I'm talking a bit too much for each series. Um, so next up, Twin Star Exorcist. You guys saw that from my Instox Trades haul, I did pick up the first five volumes. Uh, they had volume 17 and 18 on sale, so I decided to pick these up as well. Uh, and again, really nice covers. Here's volume 17 and volume 18. Awesome covers. Um, another one that I should have picked up, they, I remember them having this one on sale a while ago during the Viz Media sale. Uh, but at the time I wasn't sure if I wanted to collect this series, but ultimately I decided I love Naruto. Uh, I heard the manga is better than the anime. I did watch the anime and I stopped it because I just couldn't get through it. It just felt like a bunch of filler. Um, but I've heard that the manga is better, so I, I decided to pick this up. And for now, I have volume eight. Definitely gonna pick up the rest whenever I see them on sale. Again, some more that I picked up during the in-stocks trade. I picked up volumes one through five. Uh, during this sale, they had volumes 34, 35, and 36 on sale. So a huge gap between volumes five and 34. Uh, still need a long ways to go to get all of these, but uh, yeah, here's volume 34. Volume 35, which it seems like these two go into Arena's backstory. And then volume 36, everything looks back to normal here. This one feels a little bit thicker and you can see there that it is a little thick. Uh, so yeah, love Food Wars. Definitely need to continue the anime, but uh, yeah, picking up the manga as well. All right, another cooking series. And um, this one is, a, 
Well, actually, I don't know if this one's more etchy because Food Wars with their foodgasms can get pretty etchy as well. Um, but this is the most recent one that I've seen people pick up. So I just want to go ahead and see what this series is all about. I uh, might do a first impressions on this one as well since this is a newer series. And I believe there's only like four or five volumes out right now. Uh, so look out for that video in the future. And that's it for the first box. So you guys can definitely see there's a lot of variety here. And yeah, let's go straight into box number two. All right, this next box is pretty small. Uh, there shouldn't be too many items in here, so we should be able to get through this one pretty quickly. Uh, let me just go ahead and open it up. All right, awesome packaging from Right Stuff. All right, so three volumes here, and I already know what these are. Uh, these are really old pickups that never came to me just because they were out of stock. And yeah, this one goes back to the Viz Media Cell. These were all pickups from the Viz Media Cell. Uh, finally got volume six from Dead Man Wonderland. So now I do have it complete. And I've completed my alternating black and white uh, spines there. Um, it always looked weird because I always had two white ones next to each other. But now with this in there, it will be complete. And this cover is really nice. I love the black background and her purple hair there, or pinkish hair, it looks kind of pinkish purple. Uh, so yeah, nice cover here, volume six. Another one that I've had a gap there for the longest time, volume eight. I believe now I am up to date, although there was a new, um, new volume that came out, I believe just this past week. Uh, so I need to pick that one up, but yeah. Promise Neverland Volume 8. And her gun there looks pretty interesting. Not sure what's going on there. They definitely haven't picked up guns yet in the anime where I'm watching. Uh, the second season, I've seen the first episode. Still haven't introduced guns. But yeah, they do look pretty cool, honestly. And then the last one is Kaguya-sama Love is War Volume 6. Uh, this one's a pretty long one, so I'm not planning on reading it anytime soon, but I did love the anime. Haven't watched season two. Might wait until I read the manga first for that one, so probably won't see season two until the until Aniplex releases their Blu-rays. But yeah, here's volume six of Kaguya Sama Love is a War. Alright, so we've gotten through two boxes already. Let's move on to the first big box. So yeah, let me go get one of those bad boys. All right, so this first box here does have a huge dent here on the corner, um, but Right Stuff usually does a good job packaging it, so I don't think any of this got transferred to the mangas, but it is pretty deep in there, so let's, let's hope not. But let me open this up and I'll show you guys what's inside. All right, so the first thing I noticed in this box that threw me off a little bit because I was, I thought, I definitely didn't order this myself, uh, but then I did remember that I did apply the free $25 blind box. So yeah, this item is probably from that blind box and it's honestly a pretty good title. Um, so what we have here is Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works, the complete first series uh, season. Uh, unfortunately, this is the DVD, but either way, it's an Aniplex title. They do include the wrapping. So pretty surprised that they actually included this one. This is a pretty good um, blind, bo blind box. Uh, but yeah, since I already own this one, this is this one will be perfect for a future giveaway. Uh, so I'm gonna put this one to the side now. And the next series that we have here is Tales of Wedding Rings. Um, uh, this is a recent pickup. I believe it was from a sale that happened last week. And yeah. Um, I forgot who recommended this one. I know that I'm picking this one up based off a recommendation video that I saw. Uh, I just can't remember who was recommending it. Um, but based off what he said, it seems like this would be one that I would really enjoy. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at these covers here. Here is volume one. And I kind of already looked through these and the covers look honestly really good. Uh, they each feature like a new girl. because. Uh, and if I remember correctly, I believe he has to marry a bunch of women to continue, I mean, to retain his power. Uh, so yeah, it seemed really interesting. 
And this is volume two, so we got a new um, potential bride here. Here's, oh, we skipped volume three. I believe that one was probably out of stock, so I'll be getting that one later. But volume four, this character here looks pretty awesome. Uh, she might be my favorite one so far, as far as um, her the, the character design. Here's volume five. Volume six, which this one is a little bit thicker than the rest. Volume seven. And then volume eight, which I believe this is the same character from the first um, volume. So I guess he comes back to her. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I, I think from these, uh, volume four, this this volume was probably my favorite just because I really do like her character design over the rest of these girls on the covers. But yeah, like it seems like this is a harem series, and I guess I've already chosen my best girl, which is this one, but we'll see. Maybe once I start reading it, that'll change. All right, next up we have Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in the Dungeon, uh, Familia Chronicle Episodes Liu. Uh, picked up volumes one through five, I believe. Um, volume four might have been out of stock, so I'll be getting that one uh, at a later date. Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> I think I own all of the anime that's been released so far for this series. And Jake the Pog, I believe this is one of his favorite series, at least the light novels are. I just saw his uh, complete manga collection, so he did talk a little bit about this one in there. And yeah, now I'm on my journey to pick up this series. Uh, so I picked up Familia Chronicle volumes one through five. Here's volume one, two, three, and then volume five. Oh, sorry, uh, volume four was over here. So here's volume four. And then uh, the other one they had on sale during the Elf sale week uh, was Sword Oratoria. Uh, this one, however, he did just mention in his video that um, he's not enjoying this one quite as much as uh, Familia Chronicle and the original series. Um, so that is unfortunate. Um, who knows though, maybe I will enjoy it a bit more, but um, I'm not sure, I was kind of confused here because these last two volumes, volume 11 and 12, uh, they have black spines, whereas the rest of the series is white. So I'm not sure what this is all about. And yeah, the only one they didn't have on sale was the original series. So um, I haven't picked that one up. Uh, once it does go on sale though, I will probably be picking it up. But yeah, let's take a look at these covers. Here's volume one, volume two, volume four, volume five, and then volume six, for some reason, this one is wrapped even though it is just teen, not even older teen. Uh, so I'm not sure why this one is wrapped. Then here's volume seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And then this is one of the, the black spines, uh, volume 11. And volume 12. And yeah, the reason I didn't pick up volume three is because if you guys remember, I picked up volume three during the, I picked up volume three from Cheap Manga for about six bucks. Uh, so yeah, pretty cheap. Uh, but now I do have the rest of the series and Let's take a look at the artwork really quick. Um, I think I did look at it during the cheap manga unboxing, but yeah, the, the artwork looks really good, actually. I do like this art style. I think it looks pretty good, so I'm kind of excited to read through this one.
Uh, but all right, that was everything that was inside of this third box. Uh, so now let's go ahead and move on to the fourth one. All right, the first volume here in this next box um, is Muji Rushi. Yeah, Muji Rushi, The Sign of Dreams. Uh, this is a Naoki Urasawa work. Um, I have picked up a few works from him. I have Monster, the first five volumes, and I do have a few volumes of Pluto, uh, but this one was on sale and I figured I'd start off with a one shot um, to kind of get used to his works. Um, I have heard pretty good things about this one and yeah, and yeah, like I said, this is a one shot, so I just need to read this one and I will complete uh, one of his stories. So yeah, I'm kind of excited because I have been hearing a lot of people say good things about this one and I'll probably read this one pretty soon. Maybe after I'm done reading Bleach, since it's just one volume, uh, it'll be a nice way to transition to another series, but yeah. All right, next up, as I said, I did have, I did pick up volume one and two of Scarlet. Uh, so here is volume two. All right, and then the last series in this box is Demon Slayer. Um, so yeah, originally I was gonna wait, um, or actually I wasn't even gonna pick this one up. I was just gonna stick to the anime, uh, but then I saw the anime and I really enjoyed it. And yeah, I decided I couldn't wait um, every year or every other year just for a new season to come out. Um, the manga is almost done, so I'm just gonna pick this up first, read through the series since I did enjoy it so much. And uh, But for now, again, uh, they didn't have all of the series on sale, so I picked up everything that was on sale, um, which ended up being volumes 1 through 3, 7, 9, 12 through 15, and then 18. So yeah, pretty random volumes there. Hopefully the rest of the series goes on sale pretty soon so I can pick it up and start reading this one. Um, as soon as I do have everything, I think I am just gonna go ahead and start reading this one. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the covers. Here's volume one. Let's take a look at the art that everyone's complaining about. All right, so yeah, definitely not as great as the anime. The anime looks so much more cleaner. Um, but, I mean, it's bearable. I mean, I think I can read through this one. Although, those demons do look pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, hopefully the demon artwork gets better as the series goes on. But I guess I'll find out. Um, anyways, here's volume one. Volume two. Volume 3, Volume 7, Volume 9, Volume 12, 13, and then this one here, this one was my favorite cover, and I think she is my favorite, like, um, Demon Slayer she just I just really do love her character design I think she looks pretty pretty crazy honestly and she reminds me a lot of Harley Quinn and yeah I can't actually wait to see her in action I haven't in the anime they didn't really show her um, in action yet but but I'm sure she can do some amazing things so I'm excited to see that in the manga here's volume 15 which this cover looks pretty cool as well. And finally, volume 18. All right, this last box has some good stuff in here. Uh, a series that I had been wanting to pick up for a while, so I'll show you guys that one in a bit. But uh, first up, uh, this is a series that you guys saw in my in my recent cheap manga haul. I picked up a few volumes of the ink the Ancient Mega's Bride. Um, I was missing volumes one and two, and volume two happened to be on sale, uh, I think last week during the Elf um, sale that they had going on at Right Stuff. So I picked that one up. Um, now I just need volume one and I can get started on this series. 
Another series that I picked up during that elf sale that uh, Right Stuff was having is How Not to Summon a Demon Lord. Uh, this is another one that uh, Jake the Pog said he didn't really, he wasn't really enjoying. Um, uh, but I don't know, I mean, I looked at the covers and the covers did kind of sell me. And I've seen the anime, I thought the anime was kind of okay-ish. Um, I wanted to check out the manga just to see if that one is any different. And these covers are really nice, I do really like them. Uh, here's volume one. I forgot their names, but uh, she's that elf, one of the ones that summoned Diablo. Uh, so here's volume one. Let's take a look at the artwork really quick. Whoops. All right, so there's Diablo. He does look a little bit different here. I actually think he looks better in the anime. Um, but... I don't even remember this scene from the anime, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure what's going on there. But, yeah. Artwork's not too bad. It looks pretty good. Uh, and I already saw some differences from the anime. So, yeah. I'll read through this one. Uh, see if I like it. If I don't like it, then I'll just end up selling it. I'm, sh I'm sure I'll be able to sell this one. I've seen a lot of, of these actually sold on Mercari. So, yeah. Here's volume one. Uh, here's the cat girl, the one that um, also helps summon Diablo. Here's volume three. Volume four. Uh, then it looks like they didn't have volume five, so here's volume six. She is a demon lord as well, I think, if I remember, if I remember correctly from the anime. And then we skip volume seven and go into volume eight. So yeah, nice covers. Uh, looking forward to reading that one whenever I get to it. All right, and then this was the series that I had been wanting to pick up for a while now. Uh, World's End Harem. Uh, yes, this one is an etchy title. Uh, from what I've heard, it's, it's actually super etchy, uh, which is why I'm surprised that it's not wrapped. Um, I did look at the back and it is mature, so I don't know if it's just a mistake. I don't know if these are opened items or what's going on here. Uh, but the only one that's wrapped is the latest volume, volume 8. Um, but yeah, for this one, volume 1 was out of stock, unfortunately. Um, I did order it, but I'm just, I just don't know when it's going to get here. But I, do get, I did get—I did end up getting volumes 2 through 8. Uh, so here is volume 2. Volume three, four, five, six, seven, and then finally number eight. Uh, so with this one, I might even just read volume one um, online and just so I can start reading this one. So yeah, and then the last one that I got, uh, it's kind of like the spin-off or a prequel. I'm not too sure what it is, but um, it's World's in Harem Fantasia. And for this one, I did get the first two volumes, so I can at least uh, start this one. Uh, but yeah, I need, to, I need to just double check to see if uh, this is a prequel or if it's okay for me just to read this one without having read the main storyline. Uh, but yeah, again, this one, volume one is wrapped, volume two is unwrapped. Uh, but volume one, it's kind of torn, like at least like the plastic sheet that's on here. So it's kind of making me think that maybe it was just torn off of the other ones. Uh, not too sure. But here's volume one. And volume 2 and these covers definitely look a little bit more uh, tame than the main series uh, so I'm curious if this one just is not as um, doesn't have as much fan service as the main series um, yeah I'll look into it and I might I might actually start reading this one first but all right that does conclude my my haul I uh, definitely picked up a bunch of stuff as you guys can see there. Um, not even I didn't even count them. I'm not sure how many there are, but 
but there's at least 50 volumes here. I'm pretty sure there's more than 50 volumes that I picked up. Uh, so yeah, this is probably the last of these huge hauls. Um, I think the rest are just a few pre-orders and a few items that were out of stock, but um, I shouldn't have another huge haul like this for quite some time. Um, I mean, unless Right Stuff comes out with like another huge sale, uh, then maybe I'll pick up um, a few, but not 50 plus volumes anymore. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this huge haul. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.